Hello everyone and welcome to my renovation talk back. The Federal Reserve Committee approved the first increase to the primary credit rate since December 2018, or approximately since three years ago. A quarter percent increase during their yesterday's meeting or March meeting. And probably we will see six more increases this year during their upcoming meetings. Their upcoming meeting will be in May, June, July, September, November, and December. So if what we're thinking will happen, so then we will have seven increases this year. Each increase will be by quarter percent or 25 basis, and that will total 1.75% increase this year. So what does it mean for all of us? This move, will correspond to a hike in the prime rate. And the prime rate is the benchmark for all type of borrowing, like personal loan, car loan, mortgage, any type of loan, credit card, all tied to the prime rate. And also when the prime rate goes up, the yield on the treasury note will go up and this will push the mortgage rate to go up. So by another way, every time you go and borrow money from a bank, the cost of borrowing will be higher by 25 basis or by the quarter percent. And as I said, if the Federal Reserve apply whatever they're thinking about seven increases this year, so everything will go up, all the borrowing will go up by 1.75% this year. What you see here on the screen is the stock market reaction to the Federal Reserve decision yesterday. In a normal situation, the stock market will go down when the interest rate goes up. But what happened yesterday, the stock market rally, the Dow Jones was almost 450 point up yesterday. Also, the NASDAQ went up also yesterday. And as you can see here, the NASDAQ went up by almost three and a half percent or 450 point up yesterday. Does it make sense? Yes. Why? But I thought that the stock market will go down when the Federal Reserve pushed the interest rate up. But here, what we are talking about, we are talking about the nominal interest rate. We are not talking about the real interest rate. What you saw in the screen is completely not normal. Because in a normal situation, the stock market is supposed to go down when the interest rate goes up. But what happened yesterday, the stock market rally the Dow Jones almost one and a half percent up and the Nasdaq almost three and a half percent up. And the stock market was going up during the Fed decision when they're raising the interest rate. So why is that? Because what we are talking about here, we're talking about the nominal interest rate. We're not talking about the real interest rate. So what is the difference between the nominal interest rate and the real interest rate? Nominal interest rates do not count for inflation. Real interest rate count for inflation. So how is that? Nominal interest rate is the rate, the prime rate, what's the rate is going on. The real interest rate, you take the interest rate and you minus the inflation from it and that will give you the real interest rate. So what is the inflation these days? The CPI or the Consumer Price Index for Inflation that was released last month, it was 7.9%. 7.9%, this is, this is a huge number. The inflation should not go beyond 2%. And we are at 7.9%. So how you calculate the real interest rate, you take the nominal interest rate, which is half percent, and you subtract the inflation from it, which is 7.9. 
So the real interest rate is minus, minus 7.4. And that's why we are in a very, very different situation that probably we never went through this situation before. So what does it mean when you have a minus real interest rate? It means that it is very good to borrow money. And it is very bad to save money. Why? Because if you save money, you put money in your bank, you get half percent interest. And the inflation, 7.9%. So you are losing 7.9%. 4% every year on your money. But when you borrow money, you make money. Does it make sense? Yes. When you borrow money these days, you make money. Because you borrow money at half percent and the inflation 7.9%. So you are making 7.4% on your money. So are we in quantitative easing or quantitative tightening. We are absolutely in quantitative easing. Are we gonna go in quantitative tightening? Not for long time. If you would like to learn more about quantitative easing and quantitative tightening, please watch video number 31. So what do you think is gonna happen in the next few months? Absolutely the same as we are going through right now. The inflation is going to keep climbing up and up and up. Every time you're going to go to the store for anything, you're going to find that the price is going up every day than the day before. So why am I talking about inflations and interest rate? And this channel is about renovation. Because when you do renovation, you have to go to the bank, you have to borrow money. And when you borrow money, the interest rate will affect how much you borrow and how much you pay for interest on your loan. That's a reason why I have to touch base and I have to talk about this subject because we are living in a completely not normal situation. So in the next video or two, I will be talking about the effect of inflation on the housing market. And I also am gonna talk about some question that a lot of people ask, should I buy? or sell during this time. So until we talk to you on the next video, take care and talk to you on my next time and goodbye.